Welcome to our test on the power inverters protection functions. Now, let's delve into the protective features of power inverters. Our device here is an intelligent electrical measuring instrument. Here's the inverter waveform, and this machine allows us to verify the pure sine waveform. Now, observe the output voltage, no load current, and frequency in hertz. Moving on to the short circuit test. In this scenario, Imagine the inverter connected to a fan experiencing a short circuit. The inverter responds by activating short circuit protection to prevent any equipment damage and safety issues. Once short circuit protection kicks in, the device will automatically suspend work. Typically, normal data is restored within 5 seconds if the fault is rectified. Where there is a problem with the inverter, the alarm symbol, triangle, with a clear indication will appear on the display. When the voltage reaches below 9.5, it will automatically shut down and be protected so that it will not be damaged. At the same time, it will be automatically restored when the low voltage reaches 12.5. That is low voltage protection. We also have a high voltage protection, which will be activated when the voltage reaches 16. You will see, a, over voltage, indication and an alarm, triangle, signal will appear on the display. Then data will be automatically restored when the voltage returns to 14. What we are shown below is the overload protection function test. We can see that the black display shows the power connected to the inverter. When the connected power is 1200, which exceeds the power range that the inverter can accept, a triangle pattern alarm signal with a warning of overload will appear on the display, the inverter will turn on overload protection. When the access power is close to 1000, that is, when the inverter is full load, the short circuit protection procedure described above will also be started if a short circuit occurs. The above are the main protection functions of the power inverter.